already. What? All right, we got the mud puppy, the dorsal aorta, comes up, and it branches to the, dor to the um, radices of the dorsal aorta, or de aorta. And um, when you go down one, subclavian artery to the right. There you go. And both subclavian right there, too. Okay, yeah, yeah, both subclavian. <coughs> okay, with the arm of the mud puppy, we have our subclavian. Right there. Off the dorsal aorta. Coming down, still in the arm. And the branch up is the cutaneous. Right there. And the branch down is the, what is it? Brachial. Brachial artery. All right, right now we're on the dorsal aorta. If you follow the dorsal aorta down, we're going to branch to the gastric artery. All this branching, it should lead you to the splenic artery, which the splenic ar artery would be coming down, and there's the spleen. It's the artery leading down to the spleen. All right, coming off the dorsal aorta, radi radices of the dorsal aorta, and then... Um, the first branch is the vertebral, vertebral arteries, and the next one are the carotid arteries. The mesenteric arteries are on the mesentery. All right, on the lung of the mud puppy is the pulmonary artery. Right down there in pink. Pulmonary artery. All right. So, splenic artery um, on the top of the spleen, coming from the gastric, right. and um, we also have a posterior splenic artery, and that's coming from the. I keep forgetting the name. The celiacomesenteric. Which branches from the dorsal aorta. It branches right here and it goes up to your splenic. And it continues on as your mesenteric, somewhere in here. Right, we've got the renal portal veins that run along the kidney. Uh, renal arteries um, with the kidney come up to it. Um, then we got the, what are they, e efferent renal veins. And purple almost. They're coming up, kind of like, they look like a renal artery except a different color. Yeah. Well, see so, what I point to it. So for the gonadal arteries, this is a female. We have ovarian arteries and veins. And they're just running along. Barely see the pink in there. They're there. Just trust us. So on the mud puppy, we have a posterior cardinal vein. If we look at our um, oh, whoops, uh, sorry. It's running right along the dorsal aorta. Yep. And if you continue along, it'd go down to the anterior vena cava. Which starts up here. So, yeah, so like we said again, posterior cardinal vein. Okay, ready? We're looking for the subclavian vein. We have the subclavian, subclavian artery. Yep. Continues into the arm. And that's the subclavian vein. We think. All right, starting here is your hypogastric. You're going down to your femoral, which you don't need to know, but it continues to the epigastric up mm -hmm. and then going further into the body is the iliac. Your dorsal aorta goes into your your dorsal radices or whatever. Your dorsal just your dorsal radices. Dorsal radices. Radices. And then you have your on the outside is your internal carotids and vertebral. on the inside are your vertebral. And then your subclavian go right here into the arm, <coughs> subclavian continues on and you cutaneous. goes over to the cutaneous and over the shoulder and then the brachial goes down into the arm. Oh, even though we had Pulmonary the vein, <coughs> purplish, blackish, <coughs> pulmonary artery. This is the posterior cardinal vein running right along the dorsal aorta and then it meets up with the posterior vena cava. This is the first major branch off of the dorsal aorta is your celiacomesenteric, which branches off into your posterior splenic and your mesenteric artery that continues through the mesentery to the small intestine somewhere. 
dorsal aorta, first branch up here is your gastric. And your gastric, I guess you can see it from this side better. Your gastric goes right up to the stomach and then continues on as the splenic, the anterior splenic. This, dark, this is the kidney, and yeah. then the dark one on top is the renal, renal, renal portal, portal vein. vein. And then you have um, renal arteries and renal veins going up here. And then here, we just learned this. This really little one right here. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is the hypogastric. And then it branches off, and the one that goes up here is the epigastric, and the one that goes down is the iliac. I didn't get the hypogastric, where's that? Is that great? The hypogast. Yeah, that was the one that you did first. Trick is right there. here. Okay. Yeah, it's just weird I was looking at it. And then it goes around, and it comes into the epigastric and the iliac, and we're pretty sure that this is the pelvic vein. Oh, yeah, the dark one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see where it branches right there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, hypogastric as soon as the branch right there. So yep. this is hypogastric. Yep. And then epi going up. And then epigastric and then iliac down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mesentery. Yep, that will go down to the mesentery then. So then... Yours just happens to be kind of smallish. Does it... Is that the only mesenteric or are all nope, of these... all of these are... These are all mesenteric. Also. Okay, and then the yeah. yellow... Are these yellow ones the mesenteric... Veins. Well, once they were up into here, then we would have intestinals. Oh, oh so mesenteric are down. Yeah, so on the veins, the yellow ones coming down are all intestinals, That's and that becomes your mesenteric okay. vein, the big one. Oh, the out. big one's a mesenteric yep. vein? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then where's the ventral abdominal vein? That's the one you can't really see it very well. It's a, This is part of it here. So you know those two pelvic veins come up like this? Oh, they meet. And then they run up with oh, it. So they we meet to trying. form it. Okay. And then it comes in here mm -hmm. at the posterior end of the liver. And okay. usually on a lot of these. And then the gastro gastro you were looking for. Is it so that's that the yellow right one. There? You can see a little yellow coming along. Okay, in that's here. what we yep. kind of thought. Mm -hmm. I think that's.